in the previous class we uh, mentioned uh, several terms and definitions related to um, uh, stability uh, that means uh, a stable solution asymptotic stable solution um, unstable solution and things like that today i will uh, start our lecture uh, with one example and we'll try to cover all these uh, terms and definitions that we give and uh, we'll then define some results related to it so let us continue i will start with our first example of today so example 1 so example 1 let us consider we'll stick to the scalar case let us consider the um, initial value problem dx dt is equals to a t into x cube and uh, initial condition we can take uh, x at uh, t 0 equals to x 0 then we will see later on if we needed to choose uh, if we need to choose any other value. So, this is a very simple problem and uh, let us call it as equation number 1 and uh, we may ask so we may ask we may ask which stability properties properties uh, the stationary point stationary point means when you do dx dt equals to 0 you will get the stationary point because uh, that is when dx dt becomes 0. So, those points are basically the stationary points. So, we want to we may we may ask with stability properties the stationary point. So, here uh, the stationary point is uh, x equals to 0 the stationary point uh, x uh, equals to 0 uh, has what kind of stability property it has. So, uh, we can solve this equation by simply doing separation of variable you divide it by x cube on uh, you divide it by x cube and you put dt on the other side then you integrate. So, kind of like that and uh, a solution starting at x t 1 is equals to uh, starting at uh, t 1 let us say starting at uh, t 1 uh, at uh, t 1 get or equal to t 0 with x t 1 is equals to x 1 uh, satisfies satisfies uh, integral from x 1 to x right uh, d x by um, x cube and on the right hand side we will have integral from t 1 to t um, a s d s right. So, this will yield um, if you solve it then this will yield of course, it will be uh, to the power minus 3 and doing integration simply. Uh, so, I am going to write down the answer directly x t equals to uh, x 1 times 1 minus 2 uh, x 1 whole square a t comma t 1 whole to the power minus half where what is this capital A capital A uh, of uh, t comma t 1 is equals to integral from t 1 to t a s d s right. All right. So, very straightforward equation, very straightforward calculation. Now, this is what we got. Now, we look into the properties of this uh, stationary point. So, case 1. So, we consider following cases. We consider the following cases. Let us look at the first one. So, let uh, a t is equals to a constant a which is less than 0 for all t it is a constant, but that is a negative constant. Then what will happen our a t uh, t 1 will become a into t minus t 1 right and uh, this 
t minus t 1 is of course, positive, but a is negative. So, multiplied this is less than or equal to 0 and uh, if this is less than or equal to 0, then then and then again. So, maybe we can remove this then uh, less than or equal to 0. So, uh, if this is less than or equal to 0, that means, uh, this and this quantity is anyways, uh, it will go in the denominator. So, as t tends to infinity, it will be more of a x 1 by infinity, x 1 is finite. So, basically x t will converge to 0, right. So, x t will converge to 0 as t tends to infinity, obviously, right. So, t tends to uh, infinity. Here you can write, uh, so I forgot to put for all t get rho equal to t 1, this information is vital, because then it is positive and uh, since you are integrating from t 1 to t, obviously t minus t 1 is positive, right. Um, so, x t tends to 0 as t tends to infinity. This is, since x depends on the difference t minus t 1 only, the, so basically what we are having is, since uh, x depends only on the difference t minus t 1, t minus t 1, the origin is uniformly, uniformly asymptotically stable. If you look at the definition, so here you will get a uniform capital T which is independent of T 1 and uh, therefore, that in that case uh, you can say that um, uh, that particular uh, stationary point is actually uniformly asymptotically stable, right. So, here we can see that our x only depends upon uh, this uh, difference T minus T 1 and uh, it does not matter which T 1 you start with, uh, this T minus T 1 will always remain positive and uh, since you are multiplying with a negative quantity, it becomes ultimately negative and therefore, your x t is going to 0 as t tends to infinity and therefore, you can say that it is uniformly asymptotically uh, stable. This is our case 1. Now, let us look into the case 2. Okay. Uh, so, case 2 uh, or you can write case 2. Let um, a t is equals to 0, right. So, when a t is equals to 0, when a t equals to 0, then what will happen? Then we have x t equals to, let me go back, uh, x t will be uh, a t is 0. So, it will be half, so only x 1, right. So, x t equals to uh, x 1. So, when you do t tends to infinity, it will always remain x 1. It will not go to 0, but it will remain x 1. So, therefore, the solution is stable. And uh, so, the solution is stable. Fine. Now, we look at the case when a t is positive. Let a t is equals to some constant which is positive. So, then the origin becomes unstable point, unstable uh, point as x t will diverge to infinity for all x 1 and 0, right. So, in that case, as the um, here uh, basically our origin origin will become, so x equal around x equals to 0, we are checking the stability. So, basically uh, when we have uh, a uh, t minus t 1, when a is positive, t minus t 1 is positive. So, basically this is a positive quantity, this capital A t t 1 and uh, therefore, uh, when you make t tends to infinity our uh, solution will uh, simply blow up. So, x t will also tends to infinity and therefore, uh, this uh, origin the stationary point uh, is actually leading to an unstable solution when you are considering this capital A to be uh, uh, positive. All right. 
Now, fourth case is um, case four is uh, a t is equals to minus of one plus t whole to the power minus one, or basically minus one by one plus t. This is what we are saying. So then our a t capital A t t 1 will become log of t 1 plus 1 minus log of t plus 1 which is always less than or equal to 0 for all t get or equal to t 1. This uh, you can prove from some simple uh, inequality result. So, this is less than or equal to 0 when t is get or equal to t 1 and this is now falling into the first category right. So, by case 1 by case 1 um, x t will go to 0 as t tends to infinity. So, when your a t is of this particular form your x t will go to 0 uh, and uh, not only that furthermore furthermore uh, furthermore uh, our x t is monotonically uh, decreasing decreasing as t increases as t increases right uh, obviously because we can see at uh, dx dt dx dt equals to we had uh, t cube uh, dx dt equals to we had x cube and uh, from there um, uh, we can draw the conclusion that x t is also monoto monotonically decreasing as t tends to infinity and uh, therefore 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 um, the origin not therefore but uh, the origin simply it no, it's not coming from this uh, monotonically increasing part but we can just write the origin the origin is asymptotically the origin is thus uh, asymptotically stable right stable now case 5 we are just choosing different uh, possible values of at and we are just showing different uh, conclusions can be drawn uh, if at is of this form at is equals to minus of 1 by 1 plus t square so then our a t t 1 this will give a very interesting result a t t 1 will be t 1 uh, t plus 1 whole to the power minus 1 minus of t 1 plus 1 whole to the power minus 1 which is less than or equal to 0 for all t get or equal to t 1 right. And uh, in this case also uh, what we get is uh, in this case in this case x t approaches approaches to a constant value constant value as t tends to infinity and uh, this value depends on x 1 depends on x 1 and t 1 and since x t is less than or equal to x 1 for uh, t get or equal to t 1 uh, the origin is stable that means as t tends to infinity it is not blowing up. So, if it is not blowing up then that particular point will be a stable point right. Um, another choice could be case 6 um, will be uh, let us say a t equals to sin t right interesting choice. So, then what will happen to our a t t 1? So, this will become cos of t 1 minus 
cos of t and then as do not write then again and again. So, so a t comma t 1 is periodic is periodic and changes sign changes sign unless t is equal to t 1 unless uh, t is equals to uh, t 1 then it is becoming 0 uh, or uh, we can simply say unless uh, t is equals to t 1 or cos of t 1 is equals to 1 or cos of t 1 is equals to 1 because a is bounded x exists and is periodic uh, because a is bounded obviously because it is bounded by 2 bounded um, x exists and uh, is periodic of course and is periodic comma uh, if x 1 is if x 1 um, is sufficiently small is sufficiently small. So, the origin is uniformly stable in this case also the origin is uniformly stable right. So, with the different choices of A we can discuss the stability around the origin whether it is Lyapunov stable, whether it is uh, uniformly stable, um, whether it is asymptotic, uh, asymptotically stable, whether it is uniformly asymptotically stable, whether it is, whether it is leading to unstable solution. This one sim simple example clears out all these doubts. right? So, uh, whatever the terminologies and definitions that we considered in the previous class, uh, we can just um, put them into, uh, um, uh, to, I mean put them together with in this uh, nice uh, particular example. right? Now, we will uh, go back to our uh, results and theorems. So, basically um, I will start today's uh, discussion with stability of linear systems. Linear systems we considered uh, in the previous class, uh, I mean previous to previous class where we wrote down a system of linear equation as a matrix equation and then we check the stability around those uh, uh, points basically equilibrium points. So, here uh, we consider uh, again a system of a linear system of equations. So, suppose it is given by uh, d x d t or x dot uh, is equals to matrix A which is uh, a function of t into vector x right into vector b which is a function of t and uh, x at t 0 is given by x 0 right and um, with respect to initial value initial value t 1 gets equal to t 0, we have perturbed the system uh, with the same matrix A y bar b vector t y at t 1 x at t 1 plus z 1. Let us call this as system 1, this as system 2. So, this is 1 A, 1 B, 2 a 2 b right all right um, so basically the solution uh, the stability the stability of the solution of solution x of 1 uh, is related to 
is related to the to the dependence of the difference z t which is y t minus x t mm, on the perturbation z 1. So, this error satisfies then uh, the homogeneous initial value problem initial value problem uh, z where z 1 is equals to our uh, usual um, x t 1 minus y t 1 right. So, z t 1 is equals to z 1 and uh, z dot will be then y 2 minus uh, y t uh, uh, y t minus x t. So, we do not have to mention then z 1 take we can leave it like that. Let us call it as equation number 3. In view of uh, the stability definitions that we have already given, the stability uh, properties of the solution of any linear uh, initial value problem are given by the stability properties of the zero solution, right? So um, uh, this uh, we also saw uh, in case of uh, two by two system at least. If you remember, uh, we had uh, dx dt equals to f of x1 comma x2 and uh, d of uh, x uh, d of x1 x t d, d of x1 by dt. Um, is, is equals to f of x 1 x 2 and d of x 2 by d t is equals to f of uh, f 2 of x 1 x 2. And then we sort of uh, reformulated this into um, d of capital x 1 d t a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2 the way we wrote down uh, this system as a 2 by 2 linear system. So, then the stability of original uh, system of equation now was dependent on the stability of this new obtained system. So, here also we can say that the stability properties of the uh, properties of the solution of any uh, linear initial value problem um, are given by the stability properties of the zero solution in the corresponding homogeneous problem right. And um, this zero solution is always the stationary point of the homogeneous problem. Okay. So, basically zero solution of this homogeneous equation is z t equals to 0 or uh, the stationary point for example, here is z t equals to 0 and uh, we want to study uh, the stability around this zero solution. And uh, because of this we may speak stability of a linear system rather than the stability of a specific solution. So, when we are saying that stability of the linear system from the original system we got up to here and then we are basically looking at the stability around this stationary point or equilibrium point. So, in general instead of calling it stability around that equilibrium point or stationary point we simply call it stability of the linear system that is it. So, now we are not distinguishing um, equilibrium points or stationary points. So, this uh, at least we show uh, we, we have already shown the derivation for 2 by 2 system several classes ago. So, from there you can try to relate that uh, stability property of the stability property of the solution of any uh, initial value problem is nothing but the stability properties um, of the zero solution corresponding to the homogeneous equation. Right. And we also in that uh, uh, in uh, several classes ago the simplification which I showed there also we got the homogeneous system and uh, from there we studied the stability properties of that homogeneous system not the original one. So, here also we will study the stability properties of this homogeneous system and from here we can just backtrack and say that whether the solution of the original problem is uh, stable or not. Right. Now, uh, if a uh, so from looking at this system, uh, looking at this system, uh, suppose a is constant or periodic. So if if 
A, the matrix A is constant or periodic or periodic. Um, so, uh, let us say that it is just constant. Uh, so, if, if it is just constant, not uh, we, we discard the periodicity for the moment. If A is constant, then what will happen? We can write down the solution very easily. So, Z t will become capital S e to the power j t minus t 0 uh, S inverse Z 0. Right. So, then Z uh, t can be written as this. Um, so, this particular representation uh, will come back to this and uh, basically here what you have is uh, actually a matrix equation and uh, from semi group theory I mean uh, in, in operator theory basically we know how to write down the solution if you have d x d t equals to some matrix into A. So, we can always write down the solution. Um, the matrix exponent, so this j is basically your matrix and uh, these are just some operators and um, we uh, sort of write the solution in this way right. And um, basically, um, we want to um, summarize. So, if, if A is uh, not even constant, uh, if A is any general uh, 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 matrix, then how do we write down the existence, uh, uh, how, do, how do we talk about the stability of the solution and if A is constant, then how do we talk about the stability of, of the solution. So, those uh, particular cases we want to formulate in terms of uh, theorem. So, example we have already seen few classes ago, right. So, let us say that we want to uh, have A as a constant and uh, basically we want to write down our first result. So, theorem uh, I do not know 1 may be. So, theorem 1 the stability the stability of the linear initial value problem uh, of 1 with matrix A uh, with A uh, as constant means a constant matrix uh, constant is determined is determined by uh, by the by the eigenvalues by the eigenvalues uh, lambda i of the matrix A. So, the following cases may occur, the this we have already seen that the following cases may occur may occur first uniformly or uniformly asymptotically stable if real part of lambda i is, is less than or equal to 0 or less than 0 not uh, equal to simply less than 0 uh, for all lambda i. Second is uniform B Lyapunov stable if real part of lambda i is less than or equal to 0 for all lambda i provided that the dimension of the Jordan block. So, this comes from that those uh, Jordan matrices and all that. Uh, Jordan block uh, for lambda i uh, with 
real part of lambda i equals to uh, real part of l equals to 0 equals 1. And third, as I was saying, and uh, third uh, case is uh, instable solution. Instable solution if the conditions one and two are not fulfilled. Obviously, if it is not asymptotically stable or uniformly stable, then it is unstable. Not fulfilled. There is nothing new that we actually defining here. If A is not constant, then there is uh, there exists no direct or general relation between the eigenvalues at uh, successive uh, of A T at successive times and the stability of 3 uh, point 1. Okay. So, the reason why we are taking A as constant because uh, we want to discuss the stability because if A is not constant, then uh, we actually run into the trouble that uh, how to write down the uh, uh, the stability criteria or how to check the stability criteria may not be that uh, straightforward. So, basically um, uh, we, uh, we, we can look into one example. So, let me just give you one example if A is not stable. Huh? So, those that is the theorem. So, that is the statement of the theorem and uh, if A is not constant, if A is not constant, not constant then uh, there is no direct. So, this is the statement of the theorem up to here. There is no direct uh, uh, or general relation direct. There is no direct uh, general relation general relation between the eigenvalues of A t and uh, the stability. So, let us see one example and the stability. So, consider we have x dot uh, equals to uh, A t right uh, where a t is basically a 2 by 2 matrix minus 1 plus gamma cos square t 1 minus gamma sin t cos t and uh, minus 1 minus gamma cos t sin t and then minus 1 plus gamma sin square t. So, obviously, here it is not constant clear. Huh? So, the eigenvalues of uh, A, so this is matrix A, the eigenvalues of A are time dependent, are time dependent and uh, are given by uh, lambda 1 2 or lambda plus minus is equals to 1 by 2 uh, gamma minus 2 plus minus square root of gamma square minus 4. So, this implies that basically uh, real part of gamma uh, sorry real part of uh, uh, lambda plus minus is less than 0 if gamma is less than 2. So, this is the first criteria. So, for stable solution or asymptotically stable solution, you need a real part of um, lambda, uh, the eigenvalues must be less than 0. So, that can happen only when gamma is less than 2. Okay. Uh, now, um, next we apply some coordinate transformation, some coordinate transformation, transformation, transformation such that the new uh, system of equations 
r y t is equals to capital P t x t right with P t is equals to cos t uh, sin t minus of sin t and uh, sin t cos of t. So, then uh, y t satisfies the equation, then y t satisfies the equation y dot uh, t is equals to P t into A t into P inverse t into y, which is basically gamma minus 1 0 0 minus 1 y right. So, this is y dot t is equals to this. So, we have done some coordinate transformation which is y t equals to P t into x t and uh, P t is a matrix which is given by this. So, then our y uh, will be transformed into this new system. So, basically our y vector y and thus x is Lyapunov stable for gamma equals to 1 and for gamma less than 1 we find the asymptotic stability, the asymptotic stability, stability and uh, for gamma greater than 1 the system is unstable, the system is is unstable. So, basically is unstable the real part the real part of uh, lambda plus minus that means, the eigenvalues eigenvalues did not suggest this suggest this right. So, basically this particular example tells us that uh, in case if your a becomes constant then uh, draw, drawing those uh, conclusions that we stated in the previous theorem is fairly straightforward. You look at the eigenvalues based on which you say that whether it is uniformly stable, asymptotically stable or unstable. The minute a becomes a non constant uh, matrix that means, it involves parameters of t and all then it will not be so straightforward, uh, because then there is no direct link uh, between um, uh, this uh, uh, theorem and the constant matrix. Then you have to draw the conclusion based on the um, uh, based on the observation right. And uh, just like this example uh, the eigenvalues uh, which we calculated for the original matrix uh, did not suggest this that uh, whether for what values of uh, um, gamma this uh, will be leading to a stable, unstable or a lapun of stable solution. So, this is one such example. We will continue this discussion. Uh, by the way, that proof uh, we, are, uh, we are not uh, covering here, because at least for 2 by 2 system, I have shown you the proof, right. I have shown you the detailed calculation. So, it is just a generalization of that proof. Uh, so, I skip this to the reader. If you are interested, you can look into the books that I have mentioned in the references. There you will find the proof. We will uh, continue our discussion um, when A t is periodic and we will see how this result this particular theorem turns out to be and slowly we will move towards nonlinear system right. So, thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next class.